So Dokkan has released the information for the brand new Dokkan Fest unit coming out in a few days, which is going to be the Android 17s into Super 17. We'll go into the translations and of course the animations that pair up with this card. Real quick though, it looks like there's no big bad bosses in either forms, which kind of does suck. Uh, Would have helped him out tremendously, but... Uh, we do have also the Psy unit as well, which is Dr. Miyu as well as Jiro. And unfortunately, they do not have GT bosses in their category list set, which kind of sucks. So they have to provide a lot through their passive skill to be really worth the summoning for. But before we get into their details, let's look at the animations. So this is the Psy unit first. As you can see from the background, it has all of the enemies. So we are having like a joint forces vibes. Which is kind of cool. But when it comes to joint forces, it can make or break cards sometimes. Nappa's essay is, part is pretty sick. And it looks like we have the 17s now. They didn't throw in an intro animation, so it looks like there is none. But the flames are sick. And they are only a T1, so we aren't seeing a, a 18 key, but... The final blast is cool. Active skill? Yeah. Alright. Oh no, this is transformation. <laughs> Maybe there is an active skill afterwards. Oh, sheesh. One of my least favorite villains, but still pretty epic. Counter, absorption on key base. It's got to be. It's a classic Super 17 move. Yee. Little Uno reverse. Imagine that buffed up his power. All right, here is his SA animation. All right, yeah, I was going to say, it's kind of mid, and then that part's the sick part. Not bad, not bad. No active skill, unfortunately. Starting things off with Dr. Miyu and Dr. Jiro. We got target Goku category leader for 3 key and 130% stat boost. They greatly raise defense on their super with supreme damage to the enemy. Their passive skill attack and defense was 150% at the start of the turn. Attack and defense was 100% when performing a super attack. Target Goku support for 1 key and 30% and gives target Goku category allies an additional 1 key in attack and defense plus 20% for 2 turns. When collecting three or more key spheres, if there is an enemy whose name contains Goku, gain an additional attack and defense 150%, guard and get activated against all attacks, and seals all enemies super attack if HP is 70% or higher at the start of the turn. So they're actually pretty tanky if you're versing a Goku because you've got guard. I'm not too sure what the uh, attack and defense 20% for two turns is for. Because you only have a guy on rotation for one turn anyway. I'm not sure if that's only lasting for two turns. It's a bit confusing to me right now. Unless they're not counting the off rotation part. If th if that's so, then that's pretty cool. But if not, and it's just like a wasted turn anyway, uh, I, I don't get it. <laughs> but still, 50% support is pretty nasty. Target Goku already has like e Android 13 who could get an easy aid in this celebration as well. That's also supporting um, a lot of the units in here anyway. Here are all his link sets and categories. So yeah, no androids either, which, which is really bad. It's more just like a target Goku terrifying conquerors type of character. Now to look at the main card, Android 17 and Hellfighter combination or target go. I wonder what combination means. Is that like another category or target Goku? Category 3 key and 170%. And if they belong in androids as well, an additional 30%. They raise attack infinitely and raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage to the enemy. Key plus 2 and attack and defense 100% at the start of the turn. Gain an additional key plus 1 and attack and defense 70%. If all allies attack in the same turn, our extreme class should be fairly easy enough to do that. Gain an additional attack and defense 70%. When performing a super attack, perform an additional attack. There's a medium chance of becoming a super attack. Perform an additional attack if there is a super class enemy for four turns from first appearance. Chance to perform a critical hit and chance to evade enemy's attack. 17% for each attack performed during the turn. So if you are versing a super class, you have four attacks potentially. 
which is a 60 something percent 68 percent chance to dodge and critical uh so yeah definitely maximum additional is the way to go just from looking at them and of course they raise attack infinitely uh let's see so they are able to fuse once you are hp under 70 percent and five or more turns have elapsed here are all their links and categories. No big bad bosses, unfortunate. That's just the Super 17 shaft that we know of today. I think combination's not a new category because it's not here. <laughs> I think it might just mean fused fighters or um, joined forces. Uh, I think that was just the mistranslations from Goresh's thing. Uh, once he turns into Super 17, however, greatly raise attack and defense for one turn and greatly lowers defense. Three key, attack defense 170% at the start of the turn. Gain additional attack plus 170% when performing a super attack. Reduces damage received by 34% and for four turns from first appearance, reduce an additional 17%. So, um, so pretty much over 50% damage reduction. Perform an additional attack, there's a high chance of becoming a super attack during the turn in which the attack was received. So you do have to be a first slot unit. Can be a first slot unit it wants with the 50%, but he needs ways to get more defense, which he does. He gains an additional defense 17% per attack received up to 170%, which is quite a good amount. He should be fairly good. He should be actually fairly good defensively, I, I think. A medium chance of performing a critical hit if there's a super class enemy. Absorbs key based super attacks aimed at the character and covers 34% of the damage as HP if HP is 70% or less at the start of the turn. Reveal the location of the enemy super attack if HP is 34% or less. That's kind of cool. So at least if you are versing as somebody that is key based super attacks, you should be able to be your first slot just completely fine. Pretty tanky unit, I'd say. Um, and hope and I'd assume if you get like a good amount of stacks pre-Super 17, he actually becomes quite a strong unit. He loses Brutal Beatdown for Fuse Fighter, which is a pretty bad link. I would have liked to keep Brutal Beatdown, especially when you're mostly running an extreme class team. Kind of a shaft there. A little loss on attack, but that just means he links better with uh, another Super 17 or something like that. So, yeah, not too bad of a card. Let me know your thoughts on the Super 17. Are you going to be summoning for them? Are you skipping? Do you even have any Dragon Stones? Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell. Uh, we are just under 5,000 subscribers to 100k, so I'd appreciate it if you could help me get to that goal. Till the next one, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.